Gravitational waves are they're important for a lot of different reasons. And I'll give you some important ones for me and then for maybe for the society and all. And that is, it was a, the, the fact that we discovered them, the, there are sort of three things that came from that discovery. One was that black holes actually live in pairs. They live together. Some places, there are two black holes going around each other, which was not it was expected. We could, had no idea how many of them there were. So now we know they exist. That's very important. The second thing was that uh, you could actually detect gravitational waves from the ground. And the third thing that really comes, and I sort of implied there were three things. The, the third one is that we have, by doing this, and this is the part I think that most people look at, look at with most joy, is the fact we've opened a new field of astronomy. Uh, you know, in other words, you can look now at the universe not only with your eyes, which is optical, and maybe with infrared, which is heat that you might feel, and radio waves, and x-rays, and gamma rays, all of these electromagnetic waves. You can now look at it in a completely different way with the gravitational waves. And they do an investigation of the universe in a completely different manner. Let's talk about what is looking ahead when we look ahead to gravitational wave astronomy which really is, I think, the breakthrough that we're talking about. The detection is interesting enough, but no, the thing that will make a difference to humanity is the fact that now you can look at the universe with this new technique. And what will you find? Let's start with what we already found. And that's already, we're going to now be able to use black holes to do all sorts of things. For example, right now, you can talk to many astronomers and say, where did those black holes we have come from? They can't give you a straight answer. They say, well, it could come from a collapse of a star. Or some people say it came from places where there were zillions of stars colliding with each other. Or maybe uh, the Big Bang made them in the beginning. There's books, there's papers out right now claiming that. So right away, right away this discovery has already opened a big puzzle. Where do they come from? Now, we've got to answer that because it may have a lot to do with how galaxies formed. It may have a lot to do with how the universe keeps on going. And so once we have them, we will now do a whole science. It becomes astronomy of all about the masses of black holes, their spins and where they are, and when they were first created and stuff like that. That's, that's work for the future. Interesting work for the future. 